So, as I mentioned in the last video, what we're now going to be discussing is the custom shape tool. It's a vector drawing tool and we're creating shape layers with it. Well, let's take a look. What shapes are we going to be making? Well, that can be done by choosing from this list. If you click down on your arrows here, I'm going to reset the shapes to their original and what you should see if you've never opened up this particular option are all of these simple custom shapes that you have here and there's a good portion of them there's a lot of them that you can work with and deal with and you can apply strokes and effects to them just like anything else and you can even manipulate them as well for example if I have the direct selection tool I can click and drag on one of these vector paths see there's a point right there and notice see I can bring it out like this I can manipulate those handles so that it gives me more of an effect like that and a lot of different things that you can do again depending on which tool you're working with and how it's going to end up helping you in the long run so nevertheless you can manipulate all of these things you can work with them but let me show you this is rather a small list from the ones that we had before and I mean it's fine and all but what if you want more than just what you have here I mean these are great sure and notice they look all weird how do you make them look good press shift as you're drawing and that will constrain the proportions so now you can see I've got this little pin over here which I can stick to something just by working in that fashion you could apply a drop shadow on that if you wanted to a lot of different things that you could do and up to this point though we have a very small list to choose from so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna show you what else you could do in this little option where there's an arrow here you can load in any number of these options why don't we load everything so we'll click on all and it's going to ask you, oh, do you want to add to the existing ones or do you want to replace the existing ones? Well, let's leave the existing ones and we'll just choose append. Now I have a huge, very huge amount of different drawings that I could choose from. You choose whatever color you like. And you could then go into your objects and holding shift to constrain proportions if you wish choose any number of options oops sorry I wanted to choose a different one you can see there's lots of leaves and different things in here there's also ornaments for example stuff that you'd find in pro versions of fonts and different things like that so as you can see great great stuff that's available inside of these particular elements and a lot of variations a lot of different sort of things that you can add in here but upon looking at all of these things what if I wanted to make my own vector drawing something that I could reuse over and over again can I do that is there something that I'd be able to work with inside of Photoshop that would let me do that yes absolutely because there's just about nothing you can't do without Photoshop so we're gonna get into that and I'll show you how to do that but before we do it let me just show you one last thing one of the nice things about working with these particular drawings and these particular tools is that you can create very simple and easy logos that you can work with in no time at all for example here I've got a very simple shape and remember there were options here where we could punch holes out of those shapes so I've got my circle then I'm gonna choose the custom shape tool and perhaps choose from this list of different elements where we can decide upon what sort of simple shape we would like now for example there's also some of these animal shapes here let's say I don't know it's got something to do with a cat or pet food store or something like that blue moon or blue cat productions well we'll notice what happened here as I'm drawing this thing I want to choose to punch a hole in the actual shape and now when I move this around check it out you've got a very nice little option available here that has punched a hole out of this and you create this nice negative and positive effect that's going on what if you don't like the positioning of that cat remember there's the black arrow 
path selection tool. So I could select this path, move the cat in a little bit closer, or maybe move it in over here. Or maybe, after selecting it, pressing Command T and making it a little bit smaller. Any number of different things that you could do. Double click to finish that and continue moving if you wish. Then when you click on the outside, selecting the area over here, you still see the path lines, but as soon as you use your black arrow move tool, V, notice all of those elements are gone. And you create this beautiful negative and positive effect that you can work with inside of your shape layer. So really great stuff that you can do with the custom shape tool and different ways of approaching it.